Howdy everybody, I hope you're all doing okay out there. Today I'd like to teach you about one of my favorite card games. This card game is called Slaps, and the rules are really simple. I like this game because it's oops, easy to learn, but uh, you can get really good at it and it gets really competitive. It's also nice because you don't have to have a full deck of cards to play it, just any old pile of cards will do. And you can play it with as many people as you like, two to however many people will fit at the table. So, the first thing you're going to want to do is deal out the cards evenly. You can do this a couple of ways. You can just go like this, but if you want to do it faster, playing with two people, just cut the deck in half. Whoop. There you go, Gabe. Thank you. My pile here. So, we're going to take turns playing the cards one at a time. And the object of this game is to get all the cards into your hand, into your pile. So, there's very few rules to this game. The first rule is that number cards don't do anything. And that's 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Don't do anything. Now the face cards, which are Jack, Queen, King, and Ace, are going to have some special rules. But the best way to learn this game is to just kind of get into it. So I'll start play off the top of my pile. A six doesn't do anything. So Gabe's gonna go now. He got a jack. A jack is a face card. And so whenever you play a face card, the next person has a certain number of chances to also play a face card. With a jack, it's one chance. So here I go. I got it. A queen is also a face card. So now Gabe has two chances. A queen gets two chances. So go ahead, Gabe, play one card. You didn't get it, try another. An ace is a face card. He got it on the second try, so now I have four chances. One. I got it. Jack is a face card. Now he has one try. Two. Didn't get it. So I win this stack. And this goes on, very important, the bottom of my pile. You don't want to put it on top. You want to put it on the bottom. All right? So that's basically all there is. You just take turns playing cards. Now there's one extra rule that makes this game fun. And that is, if you see two cards in a row, it doesn't matter if they're face cards or number cards, but two cards in a row that are the same card, the first person to slap the pile wins the pile. So for example, two fives in a row, two kings in a row, two sevens in a row. All right, so if I won the pile, so I'm gonna start the next round. Queen, two chances for Gabe. One, two. All right, he didn't get it, I win this pile, I start the next one. Queen, two chances for Gabe. One. Two. Didn't get it. Sometimes it goes like this, but to tell you the truth, the people who really win this game are the ones who win the slaps. Five. All right. Ten. Eight. Five. Ace. Four chances. Four. One. Two. Three. So he got it on the third try. The king gets three chances. One. I got it. Queen gets two. One. Two. Didn't get it. All right, let's keep going until we see a slap. 10. All right, one chance one with chance. a jack. Didn't get it. Sometimes it just goes like this. You don't get lucky. Ace, four chances. One, two, three, Ooh, four. Oof, Gabe. Uh, Who shuffled these me. cards? I don't know, man. <laughs> All right. Is that the last one? That's my last one. All right, so I win this round. Let's shuffle it again and try again. Because I want to show you how the slapping works. All right, we'll cut the deck in half. All right. All right. Four tries. Four tries. One, two, three. Oh, yeah. Two tries. <laughs> All right, so, yep, right. you got it. Two queens in a <laughs> row. Gabe was the first one to slap it, so Gabe wins that whole pile. And so that's how the slapping works. Okay. Now, as you get into this game, you can go ahead and start a game. Like, I can talk and play. As you get into this game, you're going to notice that... Um, four? Three. Three. Three with a king. Four. You're going to notice... Two that uh, certain things are going to happen that game, make the game more or less fair and more and less fun. The first thing is you want to make sure when you're playing that you pull the card away from you and flip out like that. Here, I'll do it again. 
The reason for that is, is if you pull the card towards you, then you get to see the card before anyone else. And that's not fair because then you get to slap before anyone else. Mm. So you want to make sure you play the card away from you. Also, you want to make sure you keep your hand. The general house rule I like to follow is that your hand has to be behind the edge of the table. Because if you're like this, waiting for the slaps, then it's not very fun and fair either. So keep your hands behind the table. Play the cards out. One, two. Oh, I gotta go for it. <laughs> a little slow on that one. <laughs> and so, like I said, it's usually the person who gets the most slaps who wins this game. Oh, that's you. Three? Mm -hmm. Three. One, two, three, four. And so you win that pile. Right. Now, if you want to make this game more challenging and interesting, you can add some house rules. One of my favorite ones is to add in sandwiches. What a sandwich is, let's see if I can, uh, here we go, show you, is if I played, let's say, this four, and then Gabe played a ten, and then I played another four. So what we have here is a sandwich, two of the same card with one in between. And you can make it so sandwiches are also things you can slap. It gets kind of tricky to keep all that in your head, but mm. it does make it so there are more slaps. So let's try that now. Let's add in sandwiches. One try. Right. Two. Mm hmm You win. Three, right? Mm-hmm. Oh. Ah. And so you gotta remember not only are there sandwiches, <laughs> but there are still doubles. So you gotta look for both. That's where it gets tricky. No, you won. Oh, I won a threat. <laughs> it was almost that. Yeah, I thought it was a sandwich too for a second. All right. And I think that's part of what makes this game so fun is you'll go for long periods of time without there being any slaps, and so you really have to focus. It's really, that's the big challenge, is staying focused on what's happening. You won. Oh, us. <laughs> <laughs> that happens Oops. too, as well. Sometimes All right. you get uh, you get so into it, you forget that you win a hand. One, two. That's you. That's one. All right. So this game, you can see, Gabe was really uh, beating me bad there, but I sort of uh, came back in the blink of an eye, and that's how this game really goes. Even when it looks like you're out of it, that you're going to lose for sure, you can come right back in out of nowhere. Another thing that makes it fun. Another fun house rule, if you have a lot of people playing, is to make it so uh, people who are watching can get into the game by slapping on doubles. So if you're just watching the game and you see a double and you slap the cards, then you can join the game with those cards you just won. That's another fun thing to do with this one. I like to call it slapping in. Another uh, good house rule to think about adding in is uh, punishments. So let's say I slap this because I thought it was a double, but it wasn't. Well, then, now I have to put in punishment cards. I have to put two on the bottom of the pile. And now I have a chance to lose those cards. So that's another rule you can add in. All right, you're up. All right, let me. Mm-hmm. Clean. One, two. See, and now I lost those cards because I slapped when it wasn't a slap. Oh. Whoop. There you go. And I'm giving you my cards. <laughs> I'll take them. <laughs> All right. Ooh, almost. And that's four, right? Mm-hmm. Nope. Oh. Uh, 
Is it a king? Yeah. yeah. Sandwich, ace, ten, ace, and there we go. We were waiting for it. You gotta be patient. <laughs> so anyways, that's the general idea behind slaps. I hope y'all have a fun time trying this game out. And uh, yeah.